Anyway. for a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we've been pretty toasty last couple of weeks. I'll show that in the next half hour, just how our temperatures have been this month. But yeah, three days away. Summer officially is here, even though it just it seems like we're already in it. Starts on Thursday at 350 and our normal high temperature then 85 degrees. Our normal low is 65, but shoot, we're already there, especially with the humidity that really has risen over the last couple of weeks and we're going to remain in that irritating category for the rest of the week. So that means when you go outside, that air is going to be kind of thick, pretty humid. It stays that way for the rest of the week, through the weekend, through next week, basically until fall. Here's how we look right now. Uh, you can kind of see some of that haze over the city. We have a little bit of smoke in our atmosphere as well. We're currently at 90 degrees, so our third 90 degree day of the year so far. With 50% humidity, that's enough to give us a heat index of 95. So it's not quite at that dangerous level that it was last Thursday, but it's still uncomfortable if you're going to be outside for any length of time. We're at 90 in Platte City, 93 degrees downtown, 88 in Overland Park, 91 for Lee Summit. The bigger picture shows more of those upper 80s and low 90s, so typical summer heat, typical like July, August weather, so a little bit warmer than we should be for this time of year. Heat index values are in the middle 90s, even feels like 100 degrees in Ottawa. As far as any rain, because we're mainly dry. We have some cumulus clouds around, but there's one thunderstorm that has popped up pretty close to 65 Highway in Pettis County near Sedalia. It's not severe, but just dumping some heavy rain and cooling you off if you live near Sedalia. For the rest of the area, though, partly cloudy. We'll be near 90 degrees in the next several hours, middle 80s by 10 this evening. Most of us are going to be staying dry. Lows don't really cool off much at all, only middle 70s. That's it. So this will be a warm night, a muggy night at that, too. And then tomorrow, we're right back in those low 90s, so tomorrow's weather will be almost identical to today's weather. It'll be another windy day too. that south wind gusting up near 35 miles an hour. Mid 80s at lunchtime, low 90s for the afternoon, and the heat index bumps back up into those uh, mid to upper 90s. Now, as far as the next chance of seeing any rain, that'll be tomorrow night into Wednesday. Storms will be possible, most likely to get the rain if you live northwest of the metro. So and I'd say far northwest of Missouri, far northeastern Kansas. And as far as seeing severe weather, that looks unlikely with our next setup. So some good news there. Nine day forecast shows that chance of storms coming in late Tuesday into Wednesday. I'll show you how that looks on future scan the next half hour. Summer begins on Thursday. It'll feel like at a high of 90 and then more storm chances come in Saturday into Sunday and then we just stay hot heading into next week. And a reminder, if you scan the QR code that's going to pop up on your screen any moment now, there you go. Uh, you can watch a member of our first alert weather team give you the latest forecast anytime, anywhere. And it's available on the demand on demand in the palm of your hand with our free streaming app. Very local. You've heard of it. That app gives you the local forecast from local meteorologists here at KBC whenever you want or need it.